lovelies welcome back to my channel it's your girl Marcy and um, if you're new here you are most most welcome if you're a returning subscriber or a viewer thank you for passing by so today I'm gonna show you around my crib I know this house is not new to some of you but I will show you my crib like a studio house tour and um, some of the plugs that uh, maybe I remember or something I will tag along so guys enjoy the video and if you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe it's totally free and I need your subscription guys okay without further ado let's get into the video guys this is the moment that kids are trying they're crying oh my god they are yelling this is the moment why why now why Anyway, guys, ignore the noise and let's concentrate with our video. So, guys, that is the entrance. And at the moment you enter the door, on your right, you find the kitchen. Yes, the kitchen is on your right and the living room is on your left, guys. So, let me show you the kitchen. So, once you enter, you enter like this. This is the kitchen, guys. We have the cabinets. We have the cabinets. We have my toaster is over there. This is where I put um this is where I put my jig and um some disinfectant for the sink. Um that is where my utensils are. You can see where I put some of the containers food and um, blender yes, let me show you you can see yeah it's a small space so I try to minimize uh, anything that is uh, overcrowding the place and then uh, we have my dispenser over here sorry there's no water currently i will fetch it um that's our dispenser that's the oven guys that's the four burner guys i normally use the oven but i normally use the extension because i don't have the socket for for oven or the cookware because people who build the investors, when they build bed sitters, they don't expect some of uh, bed sitter owners to have uh, <clears throat> a lot of electro electronics. So I totally understand. I have this small uh, gas cylinder. Yes, uh, basically, sorry, that's the kitchen. That's that's the kitchen that's our kitchen so yes after the kitchen on your left I see told you guys that you find the living room so on your left you can see I have my fridge over there it's still kitchen of course still it's still kitchen I have my fridge I have my microwave um, the microwave I bought it in Nivas at Nivas the fridge I, I think I bought it at Nivas also I can't remember yeah mm -hmm. yes okay uh, the hoofer is there it's a sound system have my safaricom wi-fi mm -hmm. I have my cabinet um, and then I have this um, piece of 
deco guys it's a design pad ke on instagram that's the highlight of the house i really like that piece i have my tv over here uh, yes i hope you can see well yes so this this deco I bought it at a uh, house of leather. Mm -hmm. This is a DIY, guys. That's a, just a fridge sticker. It's magnetic, but I decided to put it over there. This also, I also got it at a um, uh, house of leather, guys. It's These pieces are quite heavy. They are heavy. If you have small kids, it will knock your kids out. So that's the living room. That's the living room area. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the couch. So this couch, it was not like this before. This is a three-seater. These are three seater. It was gray with uh, the cushions that you lean back on. But I decided to refurbish it because uh, I didn't have enough money to buy like new coaches. So I went to Gikomba. I bought this fabric. I bought this fabric and the cushions. I decided to make it like two cushions. Nowadays, people. I've upgraded. They don't put like two cushions, three cushions in a three-seater. They put either one or two. So I decided to go with two. And um, I just called a local fundi. And he, he did a good job, by the way. He did a very good job. I can't remember the really the exact place in Gikomba, but the place where they sell um, carpets, not carpet um material for sofa making sofas that's where i got that fabric from it's very good quality so as i told you guys i'm a minimalist and i i didn't want my sofa so crowded so i decided to just put one cushion because the house is small and if you just decide to overcrowd it it looks like um something else so that's the sofa let me show so that's the full living room area i know probably you're wondering where i normally put my beauty for the ladies yeah yeah so this is where i normally put put everything so that's where I normally put everything yeah so let's go to the bedroom this wardrobe I one day went to Kisumu let me show you I went to Kisumu and I was just window shopping in a showroom for furniture and wall pieces and I saw something similar and I decided my house is small and I need somewhere where I can put clothes and uh, so I decided to call a fundi I picked the photo from Pinterest and uh, a local fundi made this for me it's tall enough to fit my clothes it has four compartments and uh, so far, so good, guys. So that boat, I got it uh, in Mombasa. Um, and I love it. I love it. I love the wardrobe. It has really served me. Because as you can see, you cannot see any clothes anywhere. I don't like clothes hanging around on the wall or hey hanging on the wall no way 
So before before we go to the bedroom, guys, let me show you something. You see this this wall wall piece. I made it for myself. It's DIY. <laughs> yes, this one I made it for myself. And um, yeah, sometimes I just make my own things. <laughs> yes, guys. So let's go to the bedroom. So if you go to see the bedroom, it's just simple. You see the bed. That's the bed, sorry. There is no shear, so you can see the other side of the wall. But let's concentrate to the with the video. So it's just a bed with pillows and um, that car wall. Those two pieces of wall deco. I made them for myself. Let me come closer. I made them for myself, guys. Yeah. So when I move out, I'll just leave them here because they're really stuck to the wall. So if the person will move in, he will enjoy or he will choose to pluck them out if he doesn't like them, he or she. Yeah, so... That's where I put my bags. Uh, I don't have a lot of bags anyway. Yeah, and this mirror also, it's DIY. I made it for myself, guys. <laughs> it's like 80 centimeters uh, wide. <clears throat> yes, guys. Um, sometimes I, I look at items on the on Pinterest and I redo them myself because buying such a piece is uh, quite expensive so yes guys so uh, I had guys like uh, when a, when a mirror is facing your bed it's wrong is it <laughs> I saw something going viral like that I don't know but mine is facing the bed I don't know I don't know so basically guys that's my house um that's my house so this is the bathroom this is the bathroom for the curtains guys this curtain is two in one it is black and gold and white and um white black and gold so whenever I want to change, I just change the opposite side and it is still cute. Whenever I want to have brighter color, uh, I will still use the same curtains and someone wouldn't know it's the same, same curtain. So that's the bathroom, guys. The sink... One day, just I just had a loud bang and uh, the sink was broken, so I had to get rid of it. And th that's just my simple bathroom. And um, yeah, so guys, before I forget, guys, that's my chandelier. It's also a highlight in this crib. Yeah, this is mine. I bought it myself in one of the um, chandelier shops uh, in River Road yes guys yeah so that's basically my house guys my crib yes guys that's So guys that's all for the house tour i hope you enjoyed and um i'm still hoping to see you on the next video guys if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed please go and subscribe it's not like i don't 
need your subscription i need your subscription so guys please go to the subscription button and click subscribe it is free please it is free oh my god <laughs> okay see you guys on the next one love y'all bye Thank you.